Hey guys, welcome to Soul Level 1, Malekith, the Black Blade. Yeah, this guy is hard. He has a lot of moves. I think he took me about 6-8 hours so I can master the phase, the first phase. I'm gonna show two phases of this fight. Just because uh, it went quite quickly with my Uchi Katana, which is maxed out cold. And we've got uh, all the stats to just max it out as much as we can. Want to be aggressive with this guy, as aggressive as he's at you. He's a beast man, but you're a beast man as well. So get the hell in there and control our fight, because otherwise he's going to control it. He's going to be throwing those stones at you. You can get close enough. God, you can get a hit, yeah. But make sure you're quick with that hit, because he will get you on the way back. It's got to be a quick hit. Uchi Katana, weapon art, you can do a uh, easy. Yeah, bait out the long hook, you. Yeah. Because it's going to be over if you've got a decent weapon. It's all about positioning and baiting out that that uh, slam that he does. Sometimes he won't do it, see? Back to the Black Blade. Oh, the parry. Get the claw from Benial. Got to do his quest in the Volcano Manor. And boom, you can parry this bitch. I did miss the uh, riposte, yeah? And I panicked. And I got hit. And the only reason why we could take that hit is because we have the mix, you know, to negate the physical damage the potion we took in the beginning. Up, when the blade glows, delay it a little bit and you can get the parry again. What a sick way to end a fight, isn't it? He's got his hands on his eyes. He's embarrassed. He's ashamed that we've gone in there and shown him who's boss because we've got this claw... Well, you know. Yeah, we could sit in there five minutes with a tough pick, hitting him about. But why not parry the bitch? Show him who is boss. Who's the real beast? You yeah, get a claw from Benile. I think it's Benile. Got the beast armor, you know. Volcano Mana, do a couple of contracts. So that's the second phase of the fight that we did. And, yeah, I think I mastered this. Which I probably could have finished this first phase with a tough pick. When then, um, he puts his knife in his mouth because he likes a nibble. The volcano's going to happen. Get out of there. Don't even bother getting a hit. Look at the floor. Oh, uh, yeah, learning the timings. Um, felt really spammy at the first. Oh, that was a delayed roll there, as you see. But uh, I think overall, uh, it probably is a good boss, but bloody hell, you got to learn all the moves, guys. Put them in a notepad. Write them all down. Nah, don't, because it take too long. Delayed hook. Get in. Don't be caught by the end of that. Otherwise, it's a uh, visible, visible time, you know? Up in the air. Boom, we did that twice this phase. See, the last time we fought, we didn't do it. So we could, sometimes on when he does the hand in there and then he rips up the floor, you can't get an R2 in. Oh, here we go. Look, we're baiting it out again and walking back. So just do an R1 or R2. You know when he like hooks the floor and the, the, um, like the blades come out? It's very delayed. And yeah, we got absolutely destroyed here. Yeah. I think this was like one of the first times I got to... <laughs> The fight, I was like, oh yeah, okay. I think you got to parry that, but there, look. But I was just like, what the fuck do I do here? I died. But yeah, be aggressive, guys. Get those R2s in. That's what Elden Ring wants you to do. There's no R1 spamming shit. Well, you can do it, but it's just not as effective as the old games. Elden Ring wants you to play this game different. Anyway, thanks for watching.